Okay, I'm going to be honest with you all. Welcome. Obviously, we're going to be diving into Master All Ranked. Obviously, you guys voted upon what you would prefer to see. We will be running, obviously, random decks. We're going to start today with Red Eyes. Uh, but I'm going to be honest. Um, I apologize to everyone who supported this channel for the Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I'm not quitting it. I have always had a love and a passion for Yu-Gi-Oh! But it is very limited in Master All unless you're a competitive player. Hence why I've been branching out into other games like Call of Duty. Call of Duty offers a lot more. I know it's very different to Master Duel and you probably don't play COD anyway or another shooter. But with Call of Duty, it offers a lot more from private matches to be able to host, obviously, with members. Be able to do play against one another. We can also play together. There's Warzone aspects. There's potential tournaments we could host as well. Like, there's so much to it. Like, even Zombies, you know, I could be like, yo, any members available? Want to jump in? Want to play some uh, Zombies? Look, if you're only into Yu-Gi-Oh, I completely understand. You will still have Yu-Gi-Oh content, just not as often. Um, but yeah, I've been praying and hoping for so long Master Duel to give us more to work upon. But unfortunately, like, we've been wanting Tag Duels for ages. Like, do you know how good that would be playing against members? Two decks going, clashing at one... Oh, mate. Don't even get me started. It'd be sick. But there's just no fun aspect like that. And to be honest, there's new players joining Call of Duty every single year obviously losing off some of their player base but with Yu-Gi-Oh I don't see an opening for new players there's too much shit to learn like I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for fucking years and I'm gonna be honest I still don't know half of the crap you know but anyway enough for that thank you all for supporting the channel regardless we are gonna jump into ranked play with obviously red eyes potentially I'm gonna make some adjustments to make it a bit more versatile and obviously beneficial I'll do that in the future. For this episode, we're going to be running the Red Eyes deck I already have, wherever it's hidden somewhere along here. Um, but yeah, basically, this is a deck I use where if you... I think I think it might be... Yeah, no, 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 no. Trophy used the Yugi deck. I uh, used Dark Magician, and we were saying, obviously, if Red Eyes and you, obviously Dark Magician clashed, who would come out on top? We do have the Bestial Engine as well, but hey... It is what it is. Let's get it. 50 card, 55 card deck build, sorry. We could reduce it a bit, but let's get into it. Let's have some fun. I ain't going to stress about this game. I'm not going to grind to diamond anymore. I apologize if you've enjoyed that series. If we hit diamond, great. If we don't, fuck it. You know, gem rewards are trash. It's just, it's just not worth the grind anymore, you know. And I love you all. I do. And I thank you all for supporting the channel. Anyways, enough of the, you know, the nitty gritty shit. Let's play some Master Duel. Okay. Can we start with Hand Trap? Or do I even have Hand Traps in this? I don't think I do. I don't think I've added Ash Blossom or Maxi. Ooh, okay. We're, well, Super Poly could help us. Red Eyes Fusion locks us out. I'm going to be honest. Red Eyes needs support. You know, you cannot normal special summon other monsters to turn you activate this card. You can only activate one Red Eyes Fusion per turn. That needs to be changed, or we need some better fusion. Even preferably a quick play would be pretty solid. Looking at our hand, there's not much we can actually do other than play into Red Eyes Fusion. Hoping there is no Ash Blossom, but we are against Anchor Morphrite. I can't say I played up against these, so this is refreshing. So we have Skill Drain, True Draco. Oh, okay, never mind. It's True Draco. Um... Do I have an out against this deck? It's questionable because obviously they do have a lot of beneficial cards. So like if this card is sent from the spell of traps onto the grave table, one must want to feel and destroy it. Not something we would like to happen. But if we can play off Red Eyes, oh yeah, if we can play off Red Eyes Fusion and then we Yeah, can play Never mind. You know what? We can't do shit. What am I going to do? Normal summon Black Metal Dragon. It, it, this is the problem as well. Yeah. Banalists are fucking dog shit for Master Duel. They really are. You know. And I've, I've been on this for what? Less than a minute. And I'm just like. Is this what it's come down to? You've got stun. You've got prevent special summons. Obviously it makes sense. It's true Draco. Of course you're going to run Diner. But do we have an out? Probably not. We have Bestial Magna, that would have been great, but unfortunately, realistically, uh, yeah, we're basically, you know, clutching at straws there. Um, I suppose I could hope they bring out another Earth Monster, but Link Ones, what do we have? We have Link Karibo. 
but we can't special summon, so that is a bit of a stinker. You know, it's... Masterdal's in such a dangerous position. Like, having the break from it has been fantastic. I ain't even going to deny that. But, like, with the limitations and the amount of stuff going on at the minute, they could provide more of a hit. Like, even if they hit certain things, and then I'm, I've said this before in the past, even if they hit something, yeah, and then a month later, unban certain cards and then ban whatever's being used. I know you're going to constantly have a meta, you're always going to have a vicious cycle of this stuff, which is cool. I, I don't have an issue with it. But there are selective cards, Sanctifier especially, and because it's gone from Gimmick Puppet into Raz Disciple, basically screwing you over. It's like, how can you play Yu-Gi-Oh if you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh? You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to be honest. What do we do? Um, I could probably go for 18, and then I can normal summon it and destroy the Diner, but then again... Yeah. When your opponent activates a card or a felt where you can charge tribute summon, you can add. Okay, we're not going to activate that. Um, until we get rid of Diner, we're very limited. Like, you can't even play Red Eyes Fusion off of uh, Gear Free the Iron... Uh, Give free the red eyes, but yeah. I want to say give free the iron knight, bro. How far are we going back here, ladies and gentlemen? You know what I mean? So we've got return of the red eyes as well. So if you control a red eye, you special and blah blah blah. Um all I'm gonna have to do is normal summon, but more than likely they've probably got a solemn judgment or solemn strike or whatever the hell card they activate. Uh basically destroy my monster and we're basically dead. You know. Them only having a wind and earth on board is not promising. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I've got a weird feeling about this. He's going to have, like, Mirror Force or some crazy shenanigan. I say crazy. Yeah. So, there we go. If you target true Draco, true freaking card, you control, destroy it. And if you do the attack full face monster, your opponent controls becomes half their current attack. See, it's just protection. You know. It, it's, it's, it's a pain because I don't like to rage. I don't like to quit the duel. You know what I mean? I don't like to quit. I don't like to quit. But yeah. Um, with Diner on board, with, we're limited. We are so limited to, at the minute. You know, the, the good thing about being destroyed is if Diner does say bye-bye, then we can obviously go Bissy or Magna. But, yeah. Bro, you're running a deck that should be dominating me, which it is, but you're super slight. This isn't... Bro, I'm just slating everything that's a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point, you know. One of the reasons why I don't really like playing it much now is this prime exact reason. But, like, with Call of Duty, yes, you can get frustrated by dying and things like that. But do you know how fun it is to be doing something consistently, you know? Obviously, we still play DVD, Fortnite with members and stuff like that, but... Yeah, you spend more time sat here looking at the field than you do actually playing the bloody game. But um, all we can do is probably hope to get... I don't even know what we can play into. Yeah. and uh, Diner just screws me, man. I've got nothing. All right, we'll throw down the towel. I should have throw that, threw down the towel ages ago, but I wanted to see. I wanted to see what we could do. We are going to make adjustments right now, so I'll be back. Okay, no, never mind. We had Maxi and Ash anyway. I genuinely didn't think we ran those, uh, but we do. You know, we could probably drop a couple of cards, but being restricted and obviously not having any sort of play into special summons is a problem. I, I'm surprised that stun and stuff hasn't been hit more often, you know. Like, I think the main meta decks, like, your bell, yeah, it's stressful, but at least you can still play, in a way, around it, unless it's Polarusa and stuff like that. But, like, which is their main end board, of Polarusa, Phantom with your bell. There, there's still an out, though. You can still benefit off of it. If you, I'm, I'm probably going to add Subversion to every single deck I run, just in case. But, yeah, this is looking promising. This is pretty good. Obviously, we do have Ash Blossom, which is going to help. And then... We can do, if this card normal special summoned, you can equip a level 7 dragon. If we had... Do I run... Oh my god, that's brutal, man. Oh my god. You're getting called by me as well. Wow. Okay. That actually played through. I'm surprised. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little anxious though, because this could be Punk Hashtira Tealaments. 
triple tactics, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I actually have my dinner in the oven, so I kind of just got to trust that it's not going to cremate itself. But, oh, it's danger. Okay. So that card face down is very important. We had a second triple tactics. Bruh, that's mad. Okay. So, okay, I can't fault this, man. Light Sworn, I enjoy. Danger's interesting. It's nice to see a different take on the grass looks greener. That it would be in Telemann's Punk every single time. So now they can normal summon Rada Raiden. Special summon Wolf. Normal summon, activate, send two. I think it's two cards, or is it three? Okay, Minerva. So you can send the top three cards of your deck, and then draw cards equal to the number of Light Sworn cards sent to the graveyard. Mate, if you hit three Light Sworn. Oh, you do have Telemans. Yikes. All right, they've got Havness. Bro, this guy's cooking, man. He has pulled every single singular card. It's um interesting. I say singular card. You've got the grass looks greener. Grief isn't. I don't think uh light brigade is. But now we're gonna sit through roll class and stuff like that. My god. Right, while he cooks, I'm gonna go check my dinner. Okay, so they're still cooking alongside my pizza. Uh, so now we got obviously Tillman Kashtira triggering off to send top three cards of the deck to the grave. They've got Dragon Ball. Bro, they've got so it, You know what's terrifying, yeah? Imagine the plays this person would have had if Grass Looks Greener hit off. You know how mad that would have been? Like the fact you can still play this type of combo with the Grass Looks Greener, but even without that resolving, is terrifying. You know? You've got Fairy Tale Snow to basically put me into face down defense mode. You've got Rhino already in grave. You've got double Fairy Tale Snow, in fact. Oh my god. Wow, this person ripped some fucking cards. So you know you've got Rhino. So Oh, they're banishing special summon. Okay, that's fine, because they're gonna play into um Ah, they're gonna go Time Thief. Time Thief Redoer. All right, mate. Take as long as you need. Four years later. Who banishes their Rhino, though? Surely you'd have saved that for Kaleido. Okay, it's Fairy Tale Snow comes out. Okay. Celine. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you're going to detach three spell counters. Are they spell counters? Yeah, they are spell counters on here. Okay, special summon Lamina. Lamina commands to send banish a light sworn from your hand or graveyard and tag one of your banished light sworn and special summon it. Special summon back into Lamina. Lamina can now discard a card and target a light sworn and special summon it, which potentially could bring back. Ooh. I think that's extra draw power as well, you know. Wow. Damn, that's a, that's pretty cool. Wait, wait, you're going to play into another Selene? Trishula. This is such an interest. Oh, my God. It's not even random either. Oh, yeah, the card in hand. Bruh. You... It reminds me of Labyrinth Lovely. Whenever I come to deal with Labyrinth Lovely, the one bet... Well, obviously, i still got to play here, kind of. Into another Selene. I still vouch to what I said before is... Wow. Cards need to be once per turn. Period. That's the, I, I genuinely think, obviously, unless you ban a massive, ma massive pool of cards, making every single card once per turn would probably save Master Duel. Turns would be a lot faster. The, these combos are fucking mental. But the problem is, it's special summoned. So now you can discard a card and then special summon back a light one. Is he just going to loop me in the same... Oh my god. You run three Trishula. Wolf now special summons to the field. Oh my god. He's going to rip my card. He's going to rip every single card. It's not even once per turn. 
Oh my god, into a second Trishula. Wow, this is a fucking play. Jesus. So what's the play now? Do you go... No, shot. Can you play into a third Celine? Oh, yo, sorry, I'm choked. Oh my god. What? Activate, special summon. Special summons the other card. Mills for three, discard a card, special summon. Oh my god, now Havnis triggers. Oh my god, this is mental. Bro, I don't even know what to say. I can't even be mad. This guy's smoking me, man. Keldo, are you returning back? Oh my god, you're returning Trishula back. Hands down, one of the fucking best plays I've ever fucking seen. My god, wow. Alright, I didn't want you lot to miss the gameplay, but I also need to check on my dinner before I bloody burn the flat down. Wow. I don't know what to say. I honestly do not know what to say here. Because... Now... I, I'm... I'm blown away. What I'm going to do is show you guys the debt profile after. If you guys want to obviously copy it and use it yourselves, then obviously we'll do that after this video. But I'm going to be honest. We're not even going to get a turn here. It'd be so funny if this person timed out though. But the chances of that happening, zero to none. But, see my point, there's a lot of plays that need some disruption. This is going to fly under the radar because no one expects it. You know what I mean? But this is crazy. Obviously, if you had infinite permanence or something, then maybe it would have benefited a little. But come on, man. This Red Eyes deck ain't doing nothing for us, unfortunately. But, yeah. Wow. Oh, shucks. Oh, no, that's not good. It can even trigger off Necroface. Wow. Rip every hand card from my hand, and then... Bro, it must be, it must be running out of time. But even still... <laughs> it's just my luck, ladies and gentlemen. Just my fucking luck. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I am my turn. Realistically, even if what? I don't know, actually. I think we might. No, no, no. Baron would negate, wouldn't it? But yeah. Um, wow. Okay. So they're going to trigger off Celine. Uh, we'll go Maxi. They, they, to be honest. The Baron's going to be able to pop a card on the field regardless and also negate the Maxi. They let it resolve. It ain't going to make a difference because every card I tend to pick up, they're just going to drop back to the graveyard. Oh. Yeah, but the problem is, I suppose we may as well bait it off, obviously. 
You know what? For shits and giggles, let's do this. Let's banish the Necroface. Ah, oh, Rollcloss had to get boring. This guy's dominated the game, but like... Have you noticed? Two duels in a row, I have been unplayable. It's like, I have not been able to play one card. And you guys understand now why I can't bother with this shit. You know? Because I don't care as much now. You know? It just... I can I can kind of laugh at it. I really just want to get Necroface banished. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, he let me do it. Let's go. Activate. Here we go. Here we go. It'd be so funny if they decked out though. Hold it. Wait, no, 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 battle phase. And then what we can do. Destroy Baron. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Veritale Snow for the protection. I bet. <clears throat> now, I'm curious to whether or not... I ain't going to deck this person out for 14 cards. There's no shot that's ever going to happen. But we know Veritale Snow is going to come out. Ooh. That could be useful. Alrighty then. Then main phase two. And then we're gonna Uh I'm gonna trust the left side. And then I'll end my turn. It doesn't make a difference. There's no spell and trap cards on the back row, but I to be honest, consider I've managed to survive a couple of turns is a plus. I do think they could have uh absolutely destroyed me. But yeah. So Baron can now destroy a card on the field, which they're going after infinite permanence, which is fine. And then what we'll do is we'll go for Celine. Okay. Move two, special summon. I activate polymerization. Oh my kidding. We ain't gonna hit polymerization off ever. So what I'm looking at is I'm basically going to die. You know, unless I can get absolutely fortunate of, you know. I don't know what we could have really done, if I'm being completely honest, because that's a lever tap power, man. You know, if they, obviously they know it's a 2,000 defense monster, so they attack for three. We might be able to survive. It's just kind of a it's infuriating that infinite permits doesn't negate the card permanently and they can keep playing around it especially with this deck in itself but wow um and now i'm back to being looped in with the trishula so my question is right do they actually have they have madura they're fine Okay, so Light Sworn Archer can now special summon itself to the field. Ah, okay, so you've locked, obviously, your Archer and your Wolf. But then again, it is still a Tuna. So there is a possibility of going into a Synchro Monster. So you could probably go for Medora, going to return. Where are they going to... What? Oh, okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know if, what they would run at a ten, unless they have a second Baron or Cheng Yin. I don't know. Because four, five, six. Is that just another Selene? Oh my god. Bro, that's crazy. That's a busted combo, man. That is actually fucking crazy. I'm not going to lie. For some reason, I thought Trishula only banished from the grave. Uh, from the hand. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I'm still in this, though. Bro, he's got four cards left in his deck, man. Is there any Medora? I'm going to activate Sarah now. There's no Medora. Or Keldo. Bro, they've got to hope. Well, technically, they'll clutch, yeah. Uh, yeah. Realistically, all of it makes zero difference. But yeah, Shirin. But then they could just attack the game. Alright, it'd be so good to have beat this deck on a timeout or like on something. But yeah, into kick Kalos. And this is going to rip. Imagine he ripped for five. It just beat me with no cards in the deck. 
Nah, he got prang. He got prang. But yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Mastered all for you, baby. Right, what we're going to do, obviously, I'm going to show you guys the deck profile if it's something you want to build yourself. But I'm going to be honest, the fact, like, if the grass looks greener had triggered off, I, I think we would have been... I don't think it would have made a massive difference, personally. But yeah, so this is the deck build they're running. You've obviously got the Light Sworn, Lamina, Maserva, uh, Lamina. But yeah, um, enjoy. If you run it, let me know how it goes. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty fucking crazy. But it's nice to see Light Sworn being used. Can't really fault it, to be honest, you know. Impressive. Alright, take care. Peace.